Hey everybody, so I'm going to walk you through a couple of the questions from the assignment if they were hard for you. Number 10 was one that a lot of people struggled with because they figured their answer was wrong because they got a fraction or a decimal and that is okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the first thing, I wrote the question down, then I draw a line down to keep um, the sides separated out. Remember, no work, no credit, so you have to show all of your work. I'm going to do a do and undo chart over at the side just so you can see my thought process. And then if you choose not to do that, that's okay as long as you can function through it in your head. If you can't, just write down the do and do chart because if you write it down the first few times, after a while you won't be able you won't need to do that anymore. So I look, here's my C, and right next to it is eight, and that's times negative times negative eight. So if you want to write that time sign in there, please do. So times negative eight, and then after that, I'm gonna add one. So now I go and I'm gonna undo those things. So the last thing I did was plus one, so I'm just gonna turn around and undo that. I think Miss Belka wrote uh, the undo of the one up here. I'm gonna choose, for me, it makes a little bit more sense to, um, to just go in and write it as, as it goes back up. So the opposite of plus one is minus one. The opposite of times negative eight is divided by negative eight. So I'm gonna subtract the one from both sides. Be really careful. It's three degrees below zero, the temperature drops a degree. Now you're at negative four. This cancels out to zero so I don't have to write it and then I rewrite the negative eight C down lower. Now I see that's times up here so I did this, now I'm going to divide by negative 8. So I write that, just divide by negative 8, divide by negative 8. So C equals, then a lot of people said, hey, the answer is 2. No, it's not. It's 4 over 8, so just simplify that. 4 over 8 is 1 half. So 1 half. Is it positive or negative? It's positive because a negative divided by a negative gives you a positive. So C equals one half. Let's go on to another one. Let's do 12. When I look at 12, it says 18 equals negative a plus 2. Now let's look at this negative a for a second. What number technically is in front of there? You can always multiply by 1. That's the multiplicative identity and it doesn't change anything. So I'm going to put a 1 there just to help us not get lost draw my line down. So what's happening in my do undo chart? Well, I'm multiplying by negative one and then I'm adding two. So how do I undo that? Well, I added the two last, so I undo that first by minusing two, minus two. 18 minus two, 16. So 16 equals negative one a. So how do I undo that times negative one? I'm gonna divide by the negative one so divide by negative one, divide by negative one, 16 divided by negative one, negative 16 equals, and then this goes to positive one a. And I don't have to write that one. It doesn't disappear, but I just, I can just write it as a. Let's keep going. Where do we go next? Let's go to 13. 13 says four minus m over 5 equals 18. So my do undo chart, my m right away is being divided by 5. But be super careful, what's going to mess you up here? This minus sign. So right away, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep change change. So plus, and then I put a negative over here. In a fraction, you can put the negative anywhere. You can put it on top, in the middle, on the bottom. I'm going to choose to put it down by that 5 so that I don't forget about it later. And then this 4, is that a positive 4 or a negative 4? You look in front of it, there's no sign, so it's a positive 4 because you always look in front. So divided by negative 5, adding 4. So how do I undo that? The last thing I did was plus 4, so I'm going to minus 4. So minus 4, I write it right under there. This cancels out to 0 drop this down as m divided by negative 5 equals 14.
So now I'm going to undo one last thing. How do I undo that minus 5? I'm going to times by negative 5 because it was divided times negative 5. So 2070, I think that is. So m equals 70. And what did I forget? Forgot that negative sign. So m equals negative 70. We'll keep going. Let's see. 14. We can do 14. 14 says negative 75 minus k equals negative 95. Again, what goes in front of that k? A 1. Something Mr. Rice showed us, if you were here with Mr. Rice in first or third hour, one thing he said was, I don't like it when that k isn't first. I, I want the letter to be first. So he switched the order here, and that's fine as long as you keep these signs in the right place. So he said, I would move the, the negative 1k to the front. So negative 1k, and then it's minus 75. Minus 75 equals 95. And this, all of a sudden, for a lot of people, makes the question look a lot easier. So if that's true for you, have at it. So I'm going to undo the 75 first. How do you undo minus 75? You add. All right, so now I'm adding that. So 0, carry my 1, 170. Drop down my negative 1k equals, am I done yet? Uh-uh, I've got to get rid of this times negative 1 divide by negative 1. There you go. So k equals negative 170. I want you to keep going through here. Even if it's tough, that's all right. I still want you to work hard at it. Everything except for number 10 will come out to be an integer. So a whole number or its opposite. Keep going. Check in with me tomorrow. The, the odds have answers in the back of the book if you want to check them. You can't cheat. You have to show your work, but you can check. All right? I'll see you tomorrow.